welcome all today we will discuss the answers to the practice assignment three questions let's get started question 1 one syllable in a word will be distinctively louder than the rest of the syllables in the same word option a true option b false the right answer is option a true yes this process is called word stressing every word must be stressed a particular syllable in a word gets stressed and that stressed syllable will be pronounced louder than the rest question number 2 we can only stress vowels not consonants option a true option b false the right answer is option a true well this is a golden rule of word stressing in english that only vowel sounds get stressed in a word and not a consonant sound the next question is the correct stress pattern in the word blackbird is option a blackbird option b blackbird the right answer is option a because blackbird is a compound word what is a compound word when two words come together to form a single word it is called a compound word what kind of a compound word is this is it a compound verb is it a compound adjective or is it a compound noun well the answer is this is a compound noun so the rules of stress say that most compound nouns are stressed on the first word now question number 4 the sounds of the plural sir can be pronounced in three ways sir z and is option a true option b false the right answer is option a this is yet another golden rule based on the based on whether the word ends with voiced or voiceless sound the plural markers are pronounced in three ways that is s z and is the next question is in the word caps dash sound is inserted to make it plural option a z option b s the right answer is option b it ends with the sound s and not z the final sound in the word cap is p which is a voiceless sound the plural marker sound that follows a voiceless sound is s and not z the next question is in the word span p is a non aspirated sound option a true option b false the right answer is option a true the voiceless stop p t or k becomes aspirated only when they occur at the syllable initial position or the word initial position in the word span the sound p is not at the word initial position therefore it is not aspirated question number 7 syllables and stress are critical for understanding aspiration option a true option b false the right answer is option a and that is true it is only when you understand the difference between vowels and consonants you will be able to understand syllabification and understanding of syllabification is required to work on word stress and word stress is related to aspiration therefore one may say that syllables and stress are critical for understanding word stress and aspiration in the word cry this is the next question in the word cry the first sound k is getting aspirated option a true option b false the right answer is option a true because the sound k occurs at the word initial position do not confuse it with the alphabet c here the sound is k the next question that is question number 9 is in the word cake k is at the initial position option a true option b false the right answer is option a the answer is true i hope it doesn't require any explanation you'll be able to figure it out yourself just pronounce the word aloud the last and the final question is p t and k are aspirated at the word initial position option a true option b false the right answer is option a this is yet another golden rule so please keep this in mind 
I hope I have made it clear for everyone. If you have any queries, please do put it up in the forum. We will be more than happy to help you out with the answers. I will see you on a different day with a different module. Until then, stay safe. Take care. Bye.